Today, guys, we're going to be going over what's called the 2015 Retrofit Kit. Now, these have been out a while, but we still get a lot of questions on what exactly is the 15 Retrofit Kit and why would you want it. From 2011 to 2014, they had the SST Turbo, the Dual Intake Turbo. There's a lot of different names for it. It was really advanced and really high tech and worked great in some applications. It was a dual ball bearing, waste gated BGT Turbo with a dual inlet so it has one inlet here and one inlet there that fed this weird dual plane wheel. If you look closely here it's like two compressor wheels put back to back. They called it you know the SST turbo or, or some people called it a twin turbo even though it's just two compressor wheels back to back. Very fast spooling, towed great. Uh, a lot of people really liked them for the quick spool up, their low end grunt but they lack a lot of top end power. They were not super reliable and they had a lot of longevity issues, especially if you throw on a tuner and start pushing them hard. These were also really hard to modify. Dual ball bearing makes it hard to modify. The internal dimensions make it really hard to open up and it's hard to manufacture a good quality uh, SST wheel. What a lot of people started doing was swapping on the 15 and newer turbos. So in 2015, Ford changed to this turbo, it's a journal bearing, it's single plane compressor wheel instead of the dual compressor wheel. It still is VGT, but it did also get rid of the wastegate. So it essentially went back to more like the technology that was in the 03 to 07 60 power stroke or what was in a lot of the older Duramax turbos. The great thing about the newer style turbo, there's lots of options from lots of different companies out there with bigger compressor wheels, bigger turbine wheels, different stages. You can make up to 700 horsepower with some of these drop-in VGT turbos, but just the turbo itself usually tapped out of around 550 to 590 horsepower. The turbo was not only more reliable and more robust, it's a lot bigger. If you look here, just the compressor wheel size difference is huge. Also, the turbine wheel is much larger. So the turbo is much bigger. It's got stronger bearings in it. It's got a thicker shaft in it. It's more easily rebuilt. And there's a kit that swaps them right onto your truck. There's a lot of different kits out there on the market. This specific one is from Ford Racing, all genuine Ford OEM parts, and it's very inclusive. They basically included every exhaust manifold stud, every gasket, all the heat shields, new coolant line, cobra head, pedestals, downpipe, turbo, everything you need for the swap. I mean, it keeps the EGR in there, emissions friendly compliant. It comes with a new EBP sensor. Everything you could need to do the swap is here. Now there are some other kits that are a little less inclusive. We get asked a lot about what the differences are and this just includes everything you could need. Those other kits are everything you might need. Uh, they Sometimes you'll need to replace a few nuts and bolts. Sometimes they want you to reuse gaskets or clamps that sometimes break during installation. But the Ford Retrofit kits, they are great. They really do include everything that you need to install it. Many people do this upgrade for reliability reasons because the newer 2015 style turbos are more reliable and more easily rebuilt. But a lot of people are looking for a performance upgrade as the newer turbos are much larger and provide much more power. Here's a dyno graph of a typical 2011 truck that has been tuned with an intake and exhaust. They max out about 480 horsepower, the most we've ever seen out of it, about 1,200 foot-pounds of torque, but they do spool up quite fast. If you overlay the 2015 turbo on top of it, you can see there's tremendous horsepower gains on the top end, moving peak power from 480 horsepower up to 544 horsepower. There's not a huge change in peak torque, but you'll see it does move the peak torque up in the RPMs. So you're moving your peak torque from 1700 RPMs to 2000 RPMs. And that's about a 300 RPM spool up difference. So you'll notice that most down low when you're trying to lug the motor in overdrive, let's say at 1400 to 1600 RPMs, where the 2011 turbo would tow great, you would never see any smoke, and you wouldn't feel any lag. The 2015 turbo is gonna spool a little slower in that area. Uh, you'll see almost a 200 to 250 foot-pounds of torque loss and about 50 to 75 horsepower loss. At about 1800 RPMs, that's where the newer turbo really starts to shine. 
the whole upper RPM range is increased, showing almost 200 foot-pounds of torque on the top end and about 75 horsepower. So now we're gonna show you a 2015 turbo comparing 2011 fueling versus 2015 fueling. You can see that moves peak horsepower from 544 up to 582 horsepower and peak torque from 1,212 foot-pounds up to 1,308 foot-pounds. It's almost all throughout the RPM range you're gaining horsepower. We recommend upgrading both at the same time, doing the 2015 retrofit kit with a 2015 high-pressure fuel pump. Now the 15 and newer high-pressure fuel pumps are all the same. There are some what's called stroker pumps out there or modified pumps that do flow more, but for the retrofit kit, that's all you'll really need. It's a 2015 high-pressure fuel pump. Now we got all three graphs overlaid on top of each other. You can see the 2011 turbo comes on sooner. It spools up much quicker, but it dies off. And then you can see what the 2015 turbo will do on 11 fueling and what the 2015 turbo will do if you upgrade to the 15 and newer high pressure fuel pump. The newer setup with the newer 2015 high pressure fuel pump and the 2015 and newer retrofit kit is very reliable. It's very robust. It holds up much better than the older 11 to 14 trucks and they're all genuine Ford OEM parts. So if you ever have any problems or issues, you can swing into any Ford dealership and they can fix it up for you, or you can order the parts yourself. They're readily available and easy to install. So this kit is specifically designed for the 2011 to 2014 6.7 guys who yeah. want to either install a more reliable turbo or upgrade it to make more power. This won't work on the 6.4s or the 6.0. If you've got a 15 and newer, there's really no need because you've already got all these parts on your truck.